Here we have a question involving a capacitor, and they want us to figure out what frequencies does a 22 microfarad capacitor have a reactance below 175 ohms. When they say reactance, they're actually referring to a capacitive reactance symbolized by X subscript C. So basically, we want X subscript C to be less than 175 ohms, as indicated in the question. Now, this value, X sub C, capacitive reactance, is given by the following equation. So we can replace X sub C with 1 over 2 pi times frequency times capacitance. And again, this is less than 175 ohms. What we'll do is we'll try to solve this inequality for the frequency F. And perhaps the best way to do that would be first to multiply the left side and the right side by the frequency, F. And this way the frequency will cancel out on the left-hand side. So now you have 1 over 2 pi times C is less than 175 ohms. We'll put that in parentheses times the frequency. To finish solving for the frequency, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 1 over 175 ohms basically dividing both sides by that quantity. So we'll cancel it out on the right-hand side. And now we have a new inequality in which 1 over 175 ohms times 2 pi times capacitance is less than the frequency. Now be careful how you read this inequality. Although reading it from this direction, we would say less than. When reading it from this direction, which is what we want to do because we want to understand this in terms of frequency, it actually states that the frequency is greater than this value. So to avoid confusion, we might want to actually flip this around and make sure we write it as frequency is greater than 1 over that quantity in the denominator. And then at this point, we can simply plug in the known value of the capacitance. That, again, was given as 22 microfarads. Now, when we plug this in, we're going to make sure that we convert the microfarads to the standard unit of farads. So it was 22 microfarads, so that means it's 22 times 10 to the negative 6 Farads. That's the way to convert microfarads into farads. So then you'd pick up your calculator and very carefully type in the quantity on the left-hand side. And when you do so, you will see that the frequency must be greater than 41.3. And the standard unit of frequency is hertz. So this would be the correct answer to part A. And now moving on to part B, which says... What is the reactance, which again is that X sub C, of a 44 microfarad capacitor over this same frequency range? So let's go down here to part B, and we're trying to determine a reactance. Now we know that the reactance for this second capacitor, based on the equation above, was 1 over 2 pi times frequency times the capacitance of this second capacitor. We have learned that if the frequency is above 41.3, then it would be taking on values, obviously, that are larger than 41.3. Notice that as the frequency increases, the value of x sub c is actually going to decrease. They are in an inverse relationship. So as f gets bigger, the x c will get smaller, and that's because on the right side you are taking 1 and dividing it by a bigger and bigger in number, which makes the result smaller and smaller and smaller. So as, again, frequency increases, the capacitive reactance here is going to get smaller and smaller. So that means that we can actually write this as Xc of capacitor 2 is going to be less than the quantity 1 over 2 pi Fc2. What we'll do is we'll plug in the frequency limit that we found in part A, which was that 41.3 hertz. And then this capacitance has a value in part B of 44 microfarads. So you'll have 44 times 10 to the minus 6 farads. So let's plug this into our calculators very carefully. And when we do so, we are going to see that X sub C of capacitor 2, the one in part B, will be less than about 87.6.
and the unit here will be in ohms. So this would be the correct answer for part B.